Good morning, everybody. Um, horrible day yesterday. Complete blank. Terrible. <clears throat> um, some of those rides were just unbelievable to watch and um, it's horrible and terrible to criticize jockeys, but really sometimes you just you can't help it. I mean, how, how that horse didn't win at Kempton is beyond me. It was sitting, 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 never moved a muscle. Terrible, terrible. Anyway, um, we move on. Um, it's a new day and a new dawn. Um, I'm going to start off with what I think is the best bet um, in um, today. Um, and it's just these two horses. That it's, I looked at them. I can't see how they can get beat. So I think the best bet today actually is a double with these two jumpers. And um, 12.40 Musselboro, Ashington, it's twos on. How can that lose? And in the 135 at Shepstow, McFabulous, it's one to three. It works out to just under even money, the double. It's To be honest with you, it's a double to not. I mean, how can those horses get beat? Obviously, horses get beat, but in, in the spirit of trying to make profit every day, I've just had my bog standard bet on that as a double. And um, if it comes in, it comes in. If it doesn't, well, you know. Um, but I mean, the, the, those two horses for me is far, far, far superior to anything else in the race. And um, I have taken that double. So it's uh, in the 12.40 at Musselburgh, Ashington, in the 135 at Shepstone, McFabulous. I know it's nothing clever there, but the, the, the right play is the double. Like I said, it's just under even money. Um, it should cop and uh, you should get your, um, should get a little bit of extra money for the day. Right, we move over to Gravel quickly. Um, in the 10.50, uh, James Peters, very, very skinny, four, 45, that all should win. But I've had a few each ways on Firehawk. Kumala rises for Doug Campbell. Doug Campbell's a very, very good trainer. And uh, this horse's form isn't actually that bad. He's only finished three lengths behind Transonic. And I think Firehawk's got the come on look about it. Uh, Transonic is nine to one third favorite. This thing's 33 to one, 28 to one. I just can't work it out. I I've got to believe that Firehawk will at least make up the three lengths with Transonic today. Um, uh, and the booking of Kumala, for me, is indicative of the fact that they're expecting the horse to improve a little bit more. So, you know, I, I do find bigger priced horses, and it's always on the, on this type of basis. Um, and I'm not being disrespectful to to the two jocks that have ridden before, Peterson and Schwartz, but it is getting Kumala in the irons today. And, and like I said, wherever Transonic runs, I've got to believe Firehawk will finish in front of it today. And I, uh, the, the 28 to 1 each way to me, or 33 to 1 in some places, is a cracking, cracking bet. So in the um, 10 50, maybe a reverse forecast or something like that, but I've backed Firehawk each way. In the. Um, I'll just sort of flick through the races quickly. There, were, there weren't many today that I fancied. In the. Uh, I'm just going through all the races. I, I've got to go through it systematically, otherwise, I forget. I should really make notes, but I'm so useless that I don't make notes. Right, in the 110, um, the International Racing Club, we've got Duke's Dozen running here. Um, uh, it, this is just a little bit of a pipe opener. He, he could be competitive. He, ha he does show tremendous pace, even though he's won over 1900, but he's coming back from a long rest and uh, probably need the run. Then in the 150, um, this is a very interesting race. And here, I, I, I think... Um, Duncan Howells is going to win this race. Um, and I think he's going to win it with Hey Boy, uh, the eight the eight horse. I just want to scroll down to it, make sure I've got all my facts and figures right. But Hey Boy, Jason Gates gets in the irons. There's a lot of pace in this race. There's a lot of horses that are going to come from off him. But Hey Boy has run course and distance. And if you look back on the 8th of June, this horse ran beyond Van Halen course and distance. That's a very, very good run. Um, and carried a little low weight that day as well. Jason gets the one and a half kilos off, so this horse is coming into it with 49 and a half kilos. If, if out of stall gate number three, all he's got to do is point and shoot. Jason rides very, very well from the front, so hey boy for me, around about the six to one mark, is a proper, proper horse and a good bet today. Um, and then the rest of the card looked, looked iffy. So just a quick recap. In the 150, I like hey boy. In the 10.50, I like Firehawk. 
and then I like the two shorties in uh, the UK, Ashington in the 12.40 and 1.35 McFabulous. That I've taken as a double. I've backed Firehawk each way. I've backed Hayboy each way. That's it for today. Be lucky.